Hey guys, it's Jamie Grace, and I wanted to do a studio tour. So most of you guys probably know, singer, songwriter, YouTuber, I've been doing this for almost 12 years. Um, not a lot of people know that I've been in video production for almost 12 years. I did a documentary that was at a film festival when I was just in high school. I've been in audio production for like five or six years, engineering very recently, but I'm learning new stuff, always growing and learning. In everything that I do, I'm always growing and learning, and I want to share some of my studio with you guys, because a lot of you guys ask, what equipment do I use? What kind of stuff am I working on? How am I working on it? And I want to show you everything. So this is my studio, my arm's already tired because I'm using my massive camera. <laughs> I'm carrying right now a Canon 80D. I have vlog cameras, but they're not charged. So first step is be responsible. All right, so this is over here. These are my instruments. So uh, these are some of my guitars right here. So this is my bass right here. I'm not at all a bass player, but I can play enough to just have a little bit of fun. I did track one of my 91 Anthems bass only and it was really fun. This right here is my PV Electric. You can see this one on the Happy Song cover, and I think I've used it in a couple videos since. This is my Taylor. You can see these cracks in it. I don't want you guys to think that Taylor guitars are bad guitars. I actually love Taylor so much, but I am a drummer and so I do beat on my guitar a lot on purpose and it's kind of gotten beat up a little bit. It makes me happy because it makes me feel cool like Willie Nelson. This is a painting that I got at TJ Maxx and I love it so much. I've been riding horses since I was a kid so this painting makes my heart happy and it's come all the way from Georgia and now it's here in Cali with me. This is a wash burn. I actually went to the store to get a baby Taylor. Again, not a diss on Taylor. I love Taylors, but I went to get a baby Taylor just a songwriting guitar, something I could kind of throw over my back and travel for small stuff and oddly enough, it actually became like my favorite guitar. So this is my banjo. It's made by Deary. It's a good time banjo. I love it so much. It's my Epiphone. I'm just not ready to part with it yet. <laughs> it's one of the first guitars that I ever bought when I was on my way to wanting a Gibson, which eventually led me to get this Gibson right here. It's a replica of Johnny Cash's guitar, but we are ahead of ourselves in the room, so let's go back. My sister bought me this. It makes me really happy, and it's sitting on top of these blocks from Everblock, um, which I think are super cool. This, you guys, I went to the actual like Louisville Soccer like, um, like Place Museum factory, and they got these like done for us and it says my name on it. it says Jamie Grace it made me feel really legit and cool and I'm always honored that I have that box drum situation um, I don't really play this a ton but I like just having one as a drummer sometimes playing a beat along with stuff even if I don't use drums in a song it helps me to write this is my sister's mic that I need to get her case for as I'm packing which is why this thing is like over like packed right now it's just full of a bunch of cables and wires and stuff and it is ready to be loaded up into the truck and to be moved away cheer number one cheer number two that's my birthday this is about a tenth of my vinyl collection. Um, I love records so much. I've been collecting them since forever. This is like one of the only new ones that I have. Yo, Paula. I've been collecting vinyl since I was like seven years old. That's like a tenth of my collection. I have nine record players. I love vinyl so much. Over here is when I was a part of Winter Jam 2013. Really cool time. And this, I mean, it was the number one tour in the world. So. That was really legit. And then this right here is from the Canfields. It is some Johnny Cash quotes and stuff. And they are, I mean, I know that you guys are my fans, but you guys are so sweet and I feel so connected to you guys. The Canfields of Michigan and they've been supporting my music for like seven or eight years. And so I just, I love that they bought me that. It's really cool. And that's a desk that I'm, my dad's gonna help me throw away because it fell apart. Because I bought the cheap desk. My mom told me not to buy a cheap desk and I did it anyway. Well, she suggested that I did it. I'm a grown up, I get to do what I want, but I should have listened to my mom because it broke and now my dad has helped me throw it out. So this over here, is my Daisy Rock. It was my very first endorsement ever of anything. I was like 17 years old, 16, a YouTube kid, and I got an endorsement with Daisy Rock, and it's my first endorsement ever. I really hope that one day I have a daughter that likes to play guitar because that would be my like favorite gift to give her, I think. It'd be really cool. This is where I'm doing a lot of my 91 anthems these, these days. No, no, no. This is my guitar mic right here. This is my ring light. I got this from DVE store and I highly recommend it. Oh, not plugged up. <laughs> this is my tripod that I use. I think a lot of people use really expensive and bougie tripods. I got this room from the Salvation Army for $9.99. And I also have a bunch of other backup tripods and stands over there. And those are different lights. Uh, there's another Canon over there, a Canon 60D. There's a projector over there that's duct taped to a tripod because I was trying to experiment on something. That is a stand that you put an iPhone on. That is when I was on a 7-Up can. You guys remember that? Did you guys get one of those 7-Up cans? Remember that? I was a Kayla fan award winner. Thank you so much for voting for me and thank you Kayla for nominating me. I was on a 7-Up can and it was one of the coolest things that's ever happened in my entire life. And this right here is a part of my life that I don't really talk about a lot, but it's a thing. Thank you <laughs> to the people that encouraged me to keep going with this. And also to my big bro, DJ Effecto, who's also introduced me to DJ Mosky. Guys that have just really helped me and helped me get better at that part of my life, even though it's kind of a secret right now. It's not really a secret at all, but it's obvious what it is and it's really fun. <laughs> This is my sister's harp. She's had it since she was a kid because she learned how to play harp when she was a kid. And I just like to keep it in here because it makes me feel cool. This is from the Russell family. Do you guys remember Cordano when he was, when I, he's a skateboarder, he was on the Jamie Gray show. They brought that over.
over to my house. I have like a big sister day where I were a bunch of like little siblings of mine who are like in the industry, actors and singers and athletes. They come over and we hang out. And they brought me this and I know that it's kind of, you know, I've, I've had it here for a while, but I just love it so I don't want to throw it out. It's so beautiful. And then this is my piano. I really wanted a white upright piano. If you remember it from my lyric video, I'm a fighter, then whoa, bunch of guitar strings back there. Meant to clean that up. Then you'll see a bunch of lyrics from the I'm a fighter video. I used permanent marker here and up here um, because I didn't want it to ever go away. And I used um, like um, a dry erase marker on the sides and stuff. But yeah, and right here, you guys, is the final corner of my studio. This is my dry erase room, and I take a lot of my notes working on some certain covers. And right here is just a simple little MIDI keyboard. I, by the way, I love this desk. I'm obsessed with it. My mom bought me this. Super cute. These are just some, not paper clips. What are they called? Binder clips. This is a Shure microphone. I use this on the go sometimes just to write and work on stuff. It makes me really happy. This is an owl from the Jamie Gray Show. So this right here, you guys, is the final part of my studio. And this part of the studio means a lot to me. It was kind of hard at first for me. I had the idea of even putting these on the wall. So I didn't want to sound conceited, but honestly, there's been so much hard work and so many amazing adventures that have gone into all of this. And I want to be proud of that. And I'm so grateful that God has been so gracious to walk me through some cool moments like when Do Life Big hit number one on radio, when Beautiful Day was a number one single, when You Lead was honored by CSAC, and then when Hold Me went gold. Do you guys see that gold record? 500,000 sales of my song, Hold Me. And then this one right here, this is when I was. Uh, honored as a YouTuber for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Literally could not have done that without you guys. And it's a silver play button. You guys mean the world to me. Maybe we'll get to a million one day and we'll get a gold play button. I don't know, but this is cool enough in and of itself. Right here is the rest of this area. I have my Tic Tacs, which I'm literally obsessed with. I have one of these, which is honestly just to remind you guys that you can go buy one at jamiegrace.com slash store. And then I have the rest of my desk. These are like mad basic speakers that I got forever ago. Maybe I'll upgrade them one day. I don't know, who knows. This is just a screen that if I wanna have extra stuff, playing on the screen than I can. This is my laptop, which everybody knows what a laptop does. That's my phone. And this is called an Apollo Twin. It's an interface. And these two cords, this is my microphone that was over there. And then this is my guitar microphone that's over there. And they're plugged into here. Then when I turn this on, I can pretty much control. Well, I want you guys to know it's not actually blinking. It's just for some reason blinking on the camera. I guess the lights do that or something. It's not blinking in real life. So I can switch over to channel one, change my inputs and stuff. Switch over to channel two. If I want to make it a line instead of a mic, I just do that. It's my favorite interface that I've ever used. And yeah, I run to my computer through this Thunderbolt cable and I run it to Logic But one of the big changes for me is that I'm switching from Logic. That was a weird camera balance I'm switching from Logic to Pro Tools. I'm um, just kind of, you know, upgrading doing some changes Changing some stuff in my life and yeah Anyways, I just wanted to take you guys on a studio tour because this is one of the last times that I will ever be in this studio I am moving soon and I cannot wait to share with you guys the new studio that will be with Harper Sisters Entertainment My sister and I have officially launched our production company. We're so excited to to work with other artists for their music videos, for their music with branding and consulting, and we're just so, 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 so stoked about it. So you can head on over to the website on the screen, you can look in the link below, whatever it is, to join the family of Harper Sisters. So if you're one of our brothers or sisters, join the family, and you'll get monthly exclusive videos. And you can even ask us for certain things. You can be like, Jamie, how in the world do you play this one song on guitar? Or Jamie, how in the world did you switch from Logic to Pro Tools? Or why in the world would you pick that bass and not that bass? You can ask us any questions, and we'll make videos about it exclusively for the Harper Sisters sister's family because we really do want to be a part of encouraging and inspiring what is up with this be a part of encouraging and inspiring the next generation of artists and musicians and speakers and human beings and in any way we can do that we want to so yeah I hope you guys liked this video thank you so much for watching it be sure to click on the screen to subscribe click on the screen to check out more of my songs every day for 91 days I'm doing something called 91 anthems we finish on like February 25th February 26th somewhere around there so yeah all right guys I'm gonna head out thank you so much for watching this video I will talk to you later okay bye